One Man Show. You are watching the One Man Show. Ooh, One Man. It's the One Man Show, me. For those of you who have not seen one of these before, I used to do these quite regularly on my, oh, on my fitness walks. But it's been since September last year, so what's that? About oh, 10 months since I've done a proper one. And it's really just me talking bollocks, I guess. Oh, dear. so what's happened since the last one? Huge amount! But I'm not going to talk for long. The main thing that I've got back to my power walking for. I've been doing reviews. And in those reviews, I've seen I've turned into a fat bastard. And I nearly turned into a flat bastard then. God, she was cutting the corner. Right? But I used to... Um, do four or five mile a day and do these little ditties and I've started again <coughs> because I put far too much weight on and I'd become very very unfit I would never say that I've ever been super fit anyhow when I was back in the army days I was known for uh, not being able to run very well. Oh. But that's, that's where I live over there. See the big house? Just to the left of there, you'll see a little barn maybe. And I'm just to the left of that. Because I moved over here oh, in November last year. And I would hazard a guess that won't be the last tractor we see on our journey. Because if you don't like tractors, don't move to the country. But I've been a country boy for about 15 years now. And I bloody love it. Oh. So why did I move over here? Because I used to live in North Yorkshire now in Cumbria. I moved over because I had enough of where I was living. But it took me a long time to find where I wanted to live. And when I moved in, I still had the, oh God, have I made the right choice here, for months. Because over winter, where I am, it was friggin' freezing. The sun, you see the hill over there, at the bottom of the hill? I didn't think the sun was going to come over the top of the hill. The car wouldn't defrost because it parked at the front of the house. I had a log fire, which was cool. Well, hot, but cool. And also those electric storage heaters. And I remember back in the day, we couldn't afford to heat our houses with electric storage heaters because they were so expensive. And we'd sit there watching, tele watching TV in our Green Army issue maggot. So I wasn't going to put them on thinking, oh my God, but I can assure you next year, I won't, uh, or this year, I won't be scrimping on the heat because it was friggin' freezing. But I've got back to <coughs> reality, back to a bit of warmth, and I bloody love it. Absolutely bloody love it. I feel very privileged to live where I live. There's only about 200 people in the village. 
and it's between Appleby and Kirby Stephen on the tops. And the scenery surrounding this area. Oh God. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else now. But we've got the Pennines over there, look. That the next army pal of mine walked earlier this year. The weather's only also been shit this year. God, I don't think I've ever known a year to be so bad to get out on the bike and do my thing. So it's frustrating as well as enjoyable, which I guess is a bit weird. circuit that I do is around about 1.1 miles well it's not about it's exactly because I measured it yesterday on the bike and when I moved over here I uh, produced the Eden District motorbike digital magazine and I, I didn't realize just how wonderful this area is until I started riding it and filming it and I'm currently working the North and Mid Wales area. Again, another bloody wonderful region. I don't understand why, except weather, that you'd want to go all the way down to the coast, get on the very go cross, because the grass is the same colour. The hills are the same material. Only difference being is, <clears throat> they speak a different language and you end up with the shit. So keep uh, an eye out for the magazines I'm doing <clears throat> to help you decide where you'd like to go and explore. And I guess that's kind of it for now. So until the one next time, bye-bye for now. You are watching the One Man Show. Ooh, One Man Show.